What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing everyone how we can save some money mining Raptorium. It's going to be a great video I think and put some perspective in it and everything. So let's get into the intro and let's get started. start with saying that uh, I've been mining about six months or so and ever since I've been mining I've never bought a mining motherboard like I've never sought out to find one um, just because I think that the prices are ridiculous for one and I think it's it's crazy to go spend that much money the tech nerd inside of me says that you're buying really old technology at a super inflated price. And to me, it doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, what happens tomorrow if you decide to get out of mining? How hard is it going to be to sell a mining motherboard? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can sell it fast. You know? uh, each individual is going to feel differently about that. But to me, they have no value. You know, it's, it's old technology that's been refurbished into these boards that they are selling at crazy prices. And I never understood it. So right from the beginning, I wanted to see, I wanted to find a way to get, if I could get four or five, six GPUs on one motherboard, I was in. Because to me, if I could find a motherboard with a decent CPU, that would be great. And that's something I could put together later for a, a gaming PC or something. So for me, mining motherboards were kind of out of the question. Now I did end up with one mining motherboard and it's because I bought out someone who was selling GPUs that the mining motherboard came with and that was the... Uh, that's the red tech. And we got it up here mining. But to me, it's a worthless board. Yeah, I know. Everything's built in. You can just slide your USBs right in there. But the problem is, is red tech doesn't really have any inventory. And they've sold out of these things and they're almost impossible to get. If you do come across one, you're gonna pay some kind of crazy price for to me that board should be under a hundred dollars if you want to talk about the technology that's in it now from what I understand I haven't confirmed this hundred percent but that is a laptop motherboard chopped in half and we're talking old technology we're not talking anything remotely close to the past five years so looks like a great money situation for red tech people that are scalping them or selling them for three times the price. And I'll tell you what, while I'm on here, if anybody wants to trade me a 5950X or a 59, uh, 5900X or even a 3950X for that motherboard right there, I'll take that deal in a heartbeat. I'll trade you. Because here's the point of this video. The point of this video is to show that if you're a small guy like me, you know, I've got 20 GPUs. Does it make any sense to have a RevTech sitting there? Why wouldn't I go ahead and put me a B550 with a, let's say, 5950X mining Raptorium at the same exact time? Versus having that one. Because I see people that are building out these mining motherboards for Raptorium, but they don't have any GPUs connected to them. And then they're paying extra for those to be mining in high OS, which to me makes no sense. I don't understand it. So if you've got three or four rigs like I've got, why not buy yourself an upgraded motherboard right from the jump, which I was smart enough to do from the beginning, and buy yourself a real CPU and, and CPU mine at the same exact time. To me, it only makes sense. Now I know 
there's people that are absolutely paying just for CPU mining inside of HiveOS. And it doesn't make sense if you've already got a rig on there, and I believe it's up to four rigs or five rigs, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Those are free. And that's with CPU or GPU. So to me, it only makes sense to go this way. Now you're asking how I did this, and that's with PCIe splitters. I've been using these things from the very, very beginning. Um, I've got this motherboard down here, this ASRock. That's got a 3300X in it, mining Raptorium. I've got some surprising results. You can watch my past video that I did, my first video. Um, doing a little tweaking to that one. But to me, it only makes sense to, to go this route. I, as far as these PCIe splitters, go go look at uh, Seb fin, Seb's FinTech channel. I think he got something crazy like 12 GPUs on a, on a regular gaming motherboard. Uh, it might have been even more than that. But absolutely awesome content. I totally recommend go check that out. Um, another person in this community that's that's killing it as far as I'm concerned and one of my favorites is, is uh, Rabid Mining. He has got so much great information out there about uh, Mining Raptorium. But, you know, this isn't a slide at him or anybody else. I just, to me, it makes more sense to do it this way. And I doubt, I doubt that you're going to see a, a huge dip or anything in your mining profits when it comes to Raptorium. With these mining i've conducted a few tests myself i haven't stuck eight on it yet but uh i have stuck three or four and i didn't see a difference um so to me it just makes more sense to kind of consolidate everything in fact i do intend on consolidating everything i, I plan on pulling the uh, red tech out that is going to be a b550 there and if you look over here We've got a 5950X in this B550 Horus motherboard, and I'm willing to bet you anything that I know for a fact that I can get at least eight GPUs mining on this board. And if I really push it and do some homework, I'm willing to bet that we might even be able to get it to 12. So to me, mining motherboards just absolutely make no sense. I want to get into, uh, we're going to get into uh, Hive, and I'm going to show you our 6600 XTs hashing away. And that has been running for the better part of three months. Well, ever since the 6600 XTs came out, I bought them steadily for about three weeks. This is the motherboard that is mining those 6600 XTs right now. It's an Intel set up but I plan to make it go away there's gonna be a there's gonna be an AMD CPU in there mining Raptorium while I'm mining Ethereum at the same exact time so to me this just makes more sense but here's the deal this board right here I paid two hundred dollars for the processor the RAM and everything included I bought it on eBay 200 bucks the guy included everything so this board was set up right out of the box all I had to do is go in and change a few settings to get the PCIe splitters to work and one of the biggest things is you want to enable 4g decoding that's huge okay when you enable that 4g decoding that will allow you to split this off here I'll show you again it will allow you to split that off and as you can see in there We've got two of them, and this is mining on an Intel i5. So to me, this just makes more sense. But let's get into OBS, and I'll show you guys at Hive that uh, we've got them up there in mining. All right, everyone, we are back. All right, so like I was saying before, I have already got this thing. This thing's been up and mining for, like I said, ever since the first few weeks that the 6600 XTs came out. To me, this just makes a whole lot more sense. Integrate your GPUs and your CPU mining for Raptorium. Um, 
as you can see here, there's all eight of them. The CPU that's, that's in there right now that's mining is an i5-7500, 3.4. And I'll tell you what, the thing has been no fuss. I mean, absolutely no fuss. It is ran. I, when it comes down to it, that little Intel just runs. I haven't had no issues with this. I haven't had to undervolt it. I haven't had to watch the temperatures. Just out of the box, it just flat goes. Um, it's not mining that much for Raptorium. You know, we're at, uh, that's our Giganto rig here. It's 348 hashes per second. You know, that's a, sometimes it gets up to around five, but there's no overclock supplied to it. There's nothing. I'm not even sure if I ever even, if I ever tried to full tune that thing or not. But like I said, this just makes a lot more sense. Uh, and I hope that uh, everybody gets something out of this because It's just crazy. Our Colossus rig here, we've got some some exciting things coming up about this. This is the one that was sitting on my bench. That's the 5950X, and I've been doing some testing, some RAM testing and overclocks and, and things turned off, things turned on. Experimenting is what I'm doing. Um, this morning, I had this thing hashing it over five kilohash a second. It was pretty cool. Um, but I'm doing some CL14, CL16 RAM comparisons and overclocking. But, uh, you know, so here is, here's the PCIe splitters. These are the ones I've been using. You can get them a little bit cheaper on eBay, $31.99 right now. I think as everybody starts to use them and figure this thing out, the price is starting to go up. Um, but so far, I've had zero issues out of them. You got to be careful. There is some out there that are claiming like eight. They're not PCIe risers. They're actually the USB 3.0 splitters is all they are. And how do I know that? Because I accidentally bought one myself thinking that uh, I was going to be able to get eight GPUs on it. So definitely be careful with that. I will put a link down in the description. Um, we are, we did start our Amazon affiliate. So, you know, purchase them wherever you want to. But if you do purchase them with our link, it does help us out. We're going to grow this channel. And just so you know, on this channel, I'm going to get into things that uh, may be controversial. I'm going to get into things that other people won't talk about. I'm not going to set up a bunch of boxes behind me and show that I'm an OG baller. Okay that I that I have all of this stuff and I'm not going to set a big old stage for you. Um, that's not going to happen on this channel. Do I have some nice things? Absolutely. But I'm not going to be, you know, making myself look like Dan Rather of mining. Okay. Um, or or Elon Musk of, of Tesla. That's just, it's not my style. So, you know, I, I do get irritated when I see People in the community, you know, trying to be something they're not, you know, because people, a lot of people that, that are doing this can see right through that, you know. Um, and I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about, but that's another story for another day. But I will get into topics like that. I'm not afraid to be a little controversial. Um, I'm not afraid to get things head on as they are. I'm learning. I'm here to learn. Um, and to me, if you're going to have a channel doing this, you better start learning. You can't just be a, uh, I, I guess, what do you call them, a GPU unboxer, throw it on the mining motherboard, and you, now you're a professional miner. And just so you know, there is professionals that do this, and there's people like us that are just hobbyists. You know, we we do it to make a little extra money on the side. And But if you're going to do that, take the time to learn. You know, don't go, don't go do a live video and, and not have done your homework before you do so. It's kind of frustrating and, and embarrassing when I see people do it. I, I feel bad for them. It's not that I'm, I'm not one of those haters, you know, um, 
but do some research, man. And that's it. I spend hours, hours reading. I spend hours watching other content creators' videos, learning. That way I have the knowledge to at least have some type uh, of insight of what I'm actually talking about. Am I going to screw this up? You bet I am. You know, I'm not perfect and nobody else is in this industry. I promise you that. But I will screw it up. And hey, when I do, call me out on it. You know, just be nice about it. There's a way to treat people. Um, there's no reason for anybody to, you know, get nasty or leave nasty comments or try to belittle somebody. Hopefully we're all here to learn this together, you know, as we go along. But guys, I just wanted to show you this. To me, this makes more sense to be more energy efficient versus having, you know, eight motherboards lined up with, you know, 5,900 X's on them. And then you still got your GPU mining rigs that you're, where you're mining. Think about how much money you could save uh, not buying those mining motherboards. To me, it's absolutely insane to be running uh, two different systems like that. Um, and, and my thought is, if I ever do get big, if, I, if I've ever got 100 or 200 uh, GPUs, I no way, in no way, want to have 15 GPUs on the same rig. I don't. Because here's the deal. If they go down, you've got 15 GPUs down. Okay? To me, I'd rather just have eight down, where I'm only losing half the, half the money at that point than I would be if I was, if I had 15, um, I, I kind of did the math right from the jump. And I'm like, why would anybody want to be building 12 and 15 and 20 GPU mining rigs? It just, it makes no sense to me, you know? So, but I mean, if you've got the money, then I, I guess spend it, but <laughs> I'm just this little small guy and I don't have that kind of money. So, I want to I want to continue to grow. If if you've got any comments, you know, please please leave some comments down there. I'd love to hear your uh, input um, on what you think uh, is the most efficient way to to run an operation like this. Um, and please like and subscribe. When we get to a thousand subscribers, and I can do some do some live, I'm going to. Um, I think I think I've got some great stuff that we can get into, um, and we'll absolutely love that. Anything that's done in our Amazon affiliate link is going straight back to this channel, so that's something for you to know. Um, same thing with the channel itself; everything is going right back into uh, buying things that we can review together. And and I've spent a ton of money on things that I'm that I'm reviewing, uh, such as this RAM. I've got three or four different types of RAM that uh, we're reviewing. Um, so it definitely helps. Um, like I said, we'll, I'm getting a little long winded on this one, but uh, if you've got anything to add, please help me out. I'm about learning. I've learned most of what I've learned on YouTube and people are going to think this is crazy, but I've learned it in the comments because sometimes the videos are just completely wrong. And then you look in the comments and you start reading what somebody that's an actual expert at doing some of this stuff. Um, so I went and followed the expert <laughs> because the expert uh, knew what he was talking about, you know? So, but like I said, I don't claim to know everything or anything. I'm just learning. And I hope you guys have a great day. Hopefully this helps some people out, uh, kind of puts things in perspective and you can kind of consolidate your rigs. Um, to me, it makes more sense. You guys have a great evening and look out for uh, my video coming. Uh, like I said, we're doing some, some RAM comparisons on the 5950X and I think you'll find it interesting. Real quick before we leave, guys, I wanted to show you that I went back through my buy orders, but uh, here is that motherboard that i bought from ebay and this is everything included ram the cpu everything i needed to get this thing going right out of the box i paid 200 dollars. to me that's much more valuable than a red tech mining motherboard i've got the same amount of gpus on this that the uh red tech has so just something to add to it um like i said 200 bucks you guys have a great night. I do recommend this motherboard if you're if you're not going to be mining Raptorium. 
um, and you need to get eight GPUs on there, this bad dude will do it, and it'll do it flawlessly. Have a good night, guys.